Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over an affordable anti-aging skincare routine. So if that interests you, stay tuned. Okay, so like I shared in my intro, I'm gonna go over some of these anti-aging uh, skincare products that I've been using for several months now. I'm loving them, I'm seeing a huge difference in my skin and I thought that I would share it with you. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first I'm going to start with my morning skincare routine and what I do is, you know, obviously I've done, I did my skincare routine from the night before and I'll go over that in a few minutes, but I always start off with just using a gentle cleanser um, and I do a little tiny bit because I, like I said, I gave a thorough cleaning the night before and I love this one here by Geek and Gorgeous. It's a non-stripping uh, uh, cleanser. It's low in pH and it's it just it's very lovely it kind of it's a very gel type consistency i'll show you on here sorry it's like leaking water from the shower you can see it has like a very you know clear type jelly type uh that's that's the word that's the word jelly in it uh cleanser and it just kind of foams up on your face and it's very gentle but yet it removes any you know leftover res residue from anything that might be on my skin okay um and let me say what does that retail for jelly joker is actually you get 150 milliliters and it is ten dollars and you cannot beat the price so if you have sensitive skin this is a really good cleanser Okay, next I would go in and I would use, uh, and this is again, this is in the morning, I would use a toner on my skin. And I would use either this one here, it's called Smooth Out. And this one is an AHA, yeah, an AHA and a cactus, cactus liquid. It's an anti-aging to skin toner. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna just kinda exfoliate any dead skin cells from whatever active ingredient like a retinol or retinaldehyde that I would be using from like the night before or the day before, and it just kind of like brushes away any of those dead skin cells. Oh, smooth out for 100 milliliters is $15. And it's a very, again, it's a very, toners look like they're, you're just pouring out, out water on your skin, but usually the active ingredients are like an AHA or a BHA. So anyway, this, is, uh, this one is for definitely for anti-aging, uh, has anti-aging properties in it. Okay, next I would go in and I would uh, start now with my vitamin C and this is, hold on, this is the vitamin C and you can see I hardly have any left. Um, this is the one by Geek and Gorgeous. It's 15% vitamin C. It's a C Glow Serum. Let's see if I can get any more out of here. You can see, it goes on. It has a very faint smell. Um, I don't know what I would identify it as, but it's not like overpowering. None of their products really have a lot of uh, scent in them. It's a brightening antioxidant uh, vitamin C, reduces the signs of aging, and contains 15% vitamin C, and it retails for, it's only $11 for this, right? Uh, that's amazing for a really good uh, vitamin C product. So anyway, it has 15%, like I said, I can only use like 15%. If I start bumping it up to like 20%, I start to end up with, uh, my skin gets very irritated. So anyway, very, very good vitamin C serum. I've heard lots of people, you know, rave about it. So if you're in the market, you might want to try it. Okay, next I would go in, after my vitamin C serum, I would go in and I would put like some type of moisture into my skin um, because I'm using the active. So I would put in this HA5 Rich. This is a hyaluronic serum. I would go in and just kind of, you know, press that into my skin. Most of these products, when I put on my skincare, I just kind of press them into the skin. So I take it into my hand and I would just like press it. I press it into my neck, I press it into my skin, just so it feels like it's, I'm pushing it into the skin. This retails for $10. It's, um, yeah, it can multiple, it has like five different hyaluronic acids in it. So you're gonna get a lot of plumpness with this in your skin, it's just gonna add that high, extra le uh, layer of hydration into your skin. Okay, next I would go, uh, after I put all that on, I would go in and I would use this uh, good molecule, it's a ultra hydrating facial oil in, and because my skin is pretty dry, I don't mind using oils, a lot of oils on my skin. 
doesn't really have a smell, but it's very, it doesn't feel greasy on the skin. It really absorbs very nicely into the skin. And again, I would just kind of like press that into my skin, you know, before I put on my sunblock. And for 30 milliliters, it is $14 for this. So again, you can't, and these oils, like you only need a few drops and they really do, um, you know, they do hydrate the skin. They lock in any hydration. Okay, next I would final finish up with, of course, my sunblock. And my favorite sunblock is the Super Goop. I love this sunblock. It is, you know, it's, it has an SPF of 50. It has a broad spectrum of uh, 50, right? It's water and sweat resistant for up to 80 minutes. And I just put this on. I use this every morning. I like this. Some of the sunblocks that I use, like when then I go to put my makeup on, my makeup pills up all over the place. And, you know, that's not... <laughs> I, I, wait, I do let my skincare dry onto my skin. I try to press it into my skin really well so I'm not like just leaving with my skin soft and wet. But this one never ever pills up on me. You know what I mean? And I'm always getting the protection that I need. This is $34 for 50 milliliters. Okay, so, and the only difference I do at night for my nighttime skincare routine is because I have like this, this, this sunscreen on and you know, all these other products. Most of the time I have on mascara and I'm trying to get off my makeup and whatnot. I use this is the Madagascar Centella Light Cleansing Oil. And you can see how loved this product is. This is like 12 or $13 on Amazon. It's lasted me like six, seven months already. And I love it. It just goes on the skin very, very nicely. It doesn't feel heavy, doesn't feel greasy. Uh, it doesn't cloud up my eyes like I'll because I wash it off. I have my contacts in it It doesn't feel like I have like a layer uh, I don't know like a film over my contacts It just rinses off very very nicely and yet it removes you know the sunblock and my mascara that I have on <clears throat> And then I just would go over again with my second cleanse and use the jelly joker So that's the only difference there is at night. I use this uh, Centella Madagascar uh, oil and then um, the next difference is that I go in and I use a retinol or a retinaldehyde. This one is. This is the A Game by Geek and Gorgeous. You kind of just pump that out, look like that, and all you need is the tiniest bit. It'll just it work work it into your skin. Um, you don't need to use like two or three pumps of this. You just need one pump and just kind of blend it in all into your skin. If you have sensitive skin and you've never used a retinol, try using it once a week and then building yourself up to using it as many times as you need a week. Now I use it like probably three or four times a week. Um, and then in between, I go ahead and I use my uh, AHA acids to kind of remove any of those dead skin cells. And when you hear the word acid, you think, oh my God, like what am I putting on my skin? But it's, um, it just really is a light, it's a light, uh, chemical exfoliator it's not a physical ex exfoliator so it really just kind of goes in and loosens up that you know those dead skin cells that are almost like cement on your skin and kind of lifts them and you kind of like brush them away when you're washing your face and then that's it pretty much at night you know then I might put a chapstick on and then I'll sometimes like I'll throw you know a mask over my skin this one is by Pacifica. It's a brightening facial mask. It's got vitamin C and aloe in it. And again, I'm just looking to add as much hydration to my skin as possible. This I purchased at Ulta. I believe it's like $15. And yeah, it's just a nice lightweight moisturizing mask. And anyway, so comment below. Let me know if you've used any of these products, what products you use that are affordable for anti-aging. Uh, and if you gained any value from this video, please consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.